Okay, your problem is that you have a Panasonic JVC or Canon standard definition camcorder and the file format that the videos are being stored in is MOD format or mod format. We don't know what that means. We don't know what it stands for. But anyway, it causes a problem with some video editing and some video uh, playing software. Uh, with the files not being recognized. Now, one thing just to make the file recognized because they're actually MPEG files is just simply to rename the file as a, an MPEG like that or like that. I think either will work. And your video player or video editing software should recognize it but that doesn't solve another problem and that problem is the problem of the aspect uh, ratio now on these standard definition camcorders uh, my ones anyway the Panasonic and a Canon that I have they have the you have the choice of recording in 4 to 3 aspect ratio you know normal television uh, style or widescreen which is 16 to 9 aspect ratio now it's not the actual resolution that changes but what changes is the um, the elongation of the pixels or something to do with the pixels that makes the picture elongated the actual resolution remains the same whatever that resolution is um, but if we if we look here you can see the picture of the 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 camera of the uh, sorry the uh, the video of the moon is elongated and um, this is uh, no good if you don't want the moon to be distorted in that way. I mean, maybe you're looking at a human. Uh, you have you have footage of a human, and maybe you want that uh, elongated um, uh, effect to remain. Maybe it makes you look slimmer or better looking or taller or whatever, and maybe you want it that way, or maybe you don't want it that way. But if you don't want it that way, we can cure it. Just to show you how it should look, it should look like this. That's the um, the moon looking spherical and correct. Now, the first thing that you want is you want to be able to open your terminal from within the folder where you have the the, the video footage because that will make things easier. Um, now, to do that, if if I right click on there, it says open in terminal. Now, that is an option that is available on. Linux Mint as a default. In your version of Ubuntu, if you have Ubuntu, that may not be available um, by default. So what you do is you go to the Ubuntu Software Center here. Just take a couple of seconds, and you're looking for a plugin for Nautilus. So we type in Nautilus. You see immediately it comes up there a few different Nautilus-related. Um, applications if we look for okay this one here Nautilus plugin for opening terminals in arbitrary local paths okay so just install that um, you may have to restart your computer I know that's something you don't normally have to do in Linux but I think I found that I had to do that and then you will have the option open uh, terminal from the, the folder that you're in. Now the other thing, this is the program that we need. This little application here will sort out the aspect ratio information. Um, now what happens is these mod files, they come along with an MOI file which will be um, on your SD card if you're recording to an SD card, your camcorder records to an SD card and in that file is information about the um, the aspect ratio and maybe some other things and this is what is being lost when these video f files are being transferred to wherever you're transferring them to but this program will sort that out. Now where do you get this? You get it from here if you type this into your address bar www.castelli-group.net forward slash useful forward slash modder that's M-O Double D E R.
Okay, so you, you press enter and then this dialog box comes up giving you the opportunity to save the file, save it to where you want, ideally in a place where you are going to where your videos are. Uh, if not, copy them and paste them into that area later. And then you have that program and then it's just a case of running it um, in the terminal. Okay, so now just to go back to this original folder where the videos are. Open the terminal and you want to type dot or full stop, whatever you call it, forward slash modder, that's M-O-D-D-E-R space and you want to put in the name of the file that you want to change the video file that you want to change so just copy the file exactly type it out whatever paste it in there or type it in there and enter There you see it says MOI file not found, but it will still sort it out anyway. Um, and there you are, it's done. So I'll just go back now to the folder. Okay, so I can't remember whether I told you that the modder file that you download from the uh, website, the Castelli website, put that in whatever folder um, you, you want to, uh, where the videos are that you want to convert to the correct aspect ratio. Now, the video that I was not using was this. Uh, sorry, the video that I was not um, that was not converted properly, or the aspect ratio was not converted properly, was this one. Uh, just to show you, so you can see that it's, well you can't see, but there you are, it's elongated, just, and you see the sidebars here and here, and that's, like I said, because the aspect ratio, the widescreen isn't being read properly, it's not being detected and you can see after applying the modder file through the terminal then this is the correct video this is the correct aspect ratio now in in widescreen and that is the way the the rabbit should look okay so solved there is a 